The following content is rated R and is for mature audiences only. You are now watching H. Nobody cares. Next. Ow, 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 ow. Is that, is that it? Fuck it. Cue the music. Ain't no. The Enforcer. The winner by TKO. One minute, 32 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by TKO. The Enforcer. These niggas aren't even in Roman's weight class. Where's the challenge? And here you see a few of Roman Reigns' stats, ladies and gentlemen. His stats are not even that high. He just knows what to do with them. And he's still unstoppable, in spite only being a 69, because he goes hard in the gym. Look at him working on those body kicks, working on those knees, making them more devastating. He does shit he doesn't even need to do. And that is why he is 8 and 0 oh, and he's going for number 9 right now Nobody cares about this broke down mohawk rat tailed bootleg Mr. Miyagi, but I tell you what you should care about. Subscribing to me, Mr. Money Shot, HP Fresh. So go on and hit that subscribe button down below and join the Money Shot Mafia because if you don't got that cash, you can't make it splash. Money Shot. And thus begins the slow, systematic dissection of one very sad little Chinaman that's about to get his face punched in. I'm not racist, I'm just being honest. Roman Reigns is a Samoan beast, and this man is a tiny, what looks like, he doesn't even look like he belongs in two weight classes below Roman Reigns. He looks like he belongs in the kids karate class down the street. What is he doing here? He's not phasing Roman. Roman is clubbing at this dude's face. Dodging, clubbing. Oh goodness. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? Look, he's rubbing his face because it hurts. And now you're getting slammed. Oh Lord. You are going to take whatever Roman Reigns decides to give you, Miyagi, because you have no choice, you have no chance, and by the end of this fight, you'll have no will to live either, because that's what Roman Reigns does, he takes everything, he just takes it, and Roman doesn't want to just club at you, no, he's looking for those heavy counter punches, because he wants to send this fight home early, he wants to get the widest possible swing on the flush shots to the face and there it is there it is oh my goodness the fight is over mr miyagi is down somebody get the stretcher revive this man get the get the white rice get the chopsticks somebody revive him we got any smelling salt or teriyaki sauce maybe i don't know and there you see it ladies and gentlemen 
the replay of that vicious knockout and just in case you at home didn't see what Roman Reigns did in the ring he is signaling to the crowd that he wants the UFC heavyweight championship of this world and I can't think of a better fighter to represent the UFC's heavyweight division than the enforcer the knockout highlight reel the hound of justice Roman Reigns. UFC World Heavyweight Championship. Here we come. Maybe if Roman would stop killing folks, we could get past the first fucking round. But looks like we got time for one more fight. We're going to breeze through half the division in one fucking video. <laughs> oh well, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> the Apex. Do you call yourself the Apex? Roman Reigns is the only Apex Predator in this eight-sided war zone that they call the Octagon. This is his feeding tank, and he is hungry. And the only thing that will satisfy this insatiable appetite for success is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of this world. They will be calling the Apex the Redskin after this fight for two reasons. Number one, because he will be covered in his own blood. Number two, because of the fact that he will be so brutally beaten down that he will be forced to change his name. <laughs> Roman Reigns has already done a significant amount of damage to his face with these clubbing shots. The apex is reeling from these shots and Roman takes him down and continues to club the apex if that is his real name in the face. Just, he's already cut open. Oh goodness, blood is on the floor. Roman smells blood. He is pouncing. He is clubbing in the face. He is getting off and getting back on the mounting position so that he cannot be caught in a compromising reversal. Unfortunately, he has found himself in one regardless, but he gets out of it like nothing bounces off the cage with the Superman punch. Oh my goodness. Clubbing shot after clubbing shot. I would not want to take a fist from Roman Reigns because he is looking to create a highlight reel finish tonight unlike anything we've ever seen and he's looking to do it at the expense of the apex or as I'm going to call him for the rest of this fight the red skin because his face is already bloody he is stunned he is hurting he is just swinging for dear life and Roman is taking his time finding his mark swinging countering and swinging and he is doing a fantastic job of controlling this fight. The Redskin knows not what to do. I am out. Oh my goodness. Roman is stunned. Roman took a hard shot to the left side of his face. And he's looking to take this fight to the ground. And he does. Roman is now in the dominant position. Protecting the left side of his face. By leading with his right fist. And he's doing an excellent job of maintaining his dominance in this fight. In spite of the fact that he was stunned, he is keeping his composure, and this fight actually goes to the second round. Roman is covered in blood, and none of it is his. <laughs> I am actually quite impressed at the fact that Roman's opponent has been able to survive even though he looks like a maxi pad. Woo! Look at that beautiful Superman punch landing flush in the middle of the face. Bouncing off the cage, another flush Superman punch right to the face, followed by a second one, and then a 
second Superman punch off the cage. I am almost at a loss for words with the athleticism that is Roman Reigns. How is the Redskin going to even think about surviving the second round? I do not know. Roman, Roman is just toying with him. Roman is slamming him down. Roman can do whatever he wants. Roman is looking to slam him down. It looks like he wants to reopen that cut. It looks like he wants to get the blood flowing. It looks like he wants to connect with some hammer fists to the side of the head. Getting in a dominant position and just continuing to club to that open wound over and over again. Roman gets up, his opponent gets up, Roman says bring it, just bring it jabroni, oh, where are you going, where are you going, why are you running, why are you running, Roman wants this, Roman wants his opponent to tire himself out, keep swinging, keep clubbing at him, let you think you've got it, and you don't, you're right, back in a compromising position because Roman can do whatever he wants to do in this octagon. It does not matter. It does not matter. You can try to do whatever you want. You will get busted open. You will get knocked out. You will get several bones in your face broken. And you will lose, because when you face Roman Reigns, that is all you can do. He is an undefeated monster, a physical beast. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because I'm so stunned with the athleticism of Roman Reigns. And he's got the red skin in the Muay Thai clinch and it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Reigns has just proved why he should be the next UFC heavyweight champion of this world as he is one step closer to getting that belt and proving that he could be the greatest heavyweight if not the greatest fighter period that this industry has ever seen as you see him ramming the knees in this replay into his opponent's face he's leaking blood he's drooling he doesn't he I I don't know what to do was call somebody his opponent needs medical attention call the EMTs call the hurt line call care first Red Cross Blue Shield get him a life alert necklace he knows not where he is but I know that Roman Reigns is now 10 and oh